So here's our bulk tank here. Um, this is where our milk is stored until the truck comes to get it. This one is 800 gallons. And it's so, and our milk is, we're paid and stuff by per 100 weight or 100 pounds of milk. So this is about 6,800 pounds if it's full. Now we only fill it about half full every time the truck comes. The truck comes every other day. So there's four milkings in, in the tank when the truck comes. And we don't set the, the schedule that truck, the trucking company sets whatever works best for them. Uh, they, they can come every three days if they have to. In Minnesota, they, they can't go any longer than that. Now the reason we have a tank this big, I used to have a 400 gallon flat top tank and that would probably be plenty big enough yet. But um, at the time our hauler, we had to hold it three days and I couldn't hold that much in there. But I do like the round tank better. It's better insulated. The compressor runs a lot less. So that uh, that's just worked out better for us anyway. But, um, and it's refrigerated, like I said, it keeps it about 38 to 40 degrees in there. And uh, we'll show you up above here. Open the lid and look inside, it's stirring now. This has an agitator that stirs it. In this one, it automatically runs when it's cooling, but it also runs, it kicks on, I think, every hour or so and runs for a few minutes. But you can see the milk stirring in there. And that ball hanging in there that's kind of like a kind of like a shower head I guess there's an automatic washer we can hook up to this when every time the truck comes and empties it then we'll hook the washer up and, and uh, clean it so you can just plug that in and it sprays it all over and the truck will be coming today so I'm gonna try to get some video of him and show you how they pump it out but basically they have an outlet here that they kind of a universal plug-in I think they can plug their pump there's a electric pump on the truck and then there's a, a valve and a hose port down here they hook onto that and they open the valve and then uh, there's a hose port there they run the cord and the hose through to hook onto that and plug it in and pump it out and also I didn't show it inside but under the lid here there is a dipstick in there that they'll pull out it's got measurements on it so they can tell how high the milk is on that stick and then we have a chart on the wall that breaks down those measurements to how many pounds of milk are in there and that's what's recorded and that's how we get paid on it so um, that's kind of the rundown there and uh, we'll see if we can get some footage of the milkman here's the back of the milk truck here there's the hose that pumps the milk hooked to the tank and electric pump in there what does this uh, truck hold um, I gotta see because this isn't my normal truck. 6,000 gallons. 6,000 gallons. Yep. About 50,000 pounds. 50,000 pounds? A lot of milk in there. Yeah, so here's the hose and then the pump there. And it's just electric motor and the cord runs runs in through there and that's the dipstick I mentioned earlier that they take the measurement for how much is in there Get the agitator going. Once he gets the measurement, then he'll turn on the agitator just manually and let it stir good before he pumps the milk. He pulls a sample. He's got to pull a sample too, and they can test that for all your components butter fat stuff and they test for antibiotic because if there would be any antibiotic in the load they need to know which farm it came from and then that farmer would have to actually buy the whole truckload of milk so 
definitely don't want that. <laughs> I've seen it happen. Yeah. Luckily, I didn't have to. <laughs> And then that number that he read off on the stick, then that'll, you can figure that out on the chart and that'll tell how many pounds of milk was in this tank load. 3,332. 3,332, so it's a little bit under half full, right around there. It's got a little dipstick there to pull out a sample's worth. It's been stirring for quite a while now so get it all mixed up good Got the hose hooked up down there going out to the truck. Just plug it in and away it pumps. I went and picked up the mail today and we had this huge box in there. I um, wasn't sure what it was. Got it home and opened it up. Um, it's just a whole bunch of beautiful hand tools, hammers, a couple pipe wrenches, the pliers, C-clamps and bars, um, punches, chisels. It's from uh, Charlie and Cindy. I want to say thank you. This stuff is awesome and uh, we'll definitely get good use out of it. And they sent a special note with this one for the, for the young woodworkers to have their own hammer. So we'll have to get them their own toolbox now. So we're going to wrap up the video here with a big thank you to all of our subscribers because we've hit 25,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, and we want to do a giveaway. We're going to give away a shirt and a cap. And this is the cap that we currently offer. It's the gray and red. And we've had people ask for different color combos. So to enter for the, the giveaway, you need to uh, leave in the comments what you would like to see for a color combo on the hats. And that'll uh, enter you in to win. So. Go ahead and leave a comment below on that, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.